ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the 2012 Jersey World Dairy Expo International Futurity. This marks the 12th International Futurity Show. An overall and reserve overall Futurity Champion will be selected immediately following the Holstein Futurity class on Saturday. Exhibitors in this Jersey Futurity will receive a portion of their entry fees as premiums for the class, with today's jackpot being $5,050. Animals participating in this year's World Dairy Expo International Futurity were entered as calves in 2008. Entries for the 2015 World Dairy Expo Futurity are open until November 1st, and those calves that are eligible were born between September 1st, 2011 and August 31st, 2012. If you're interested in okay. entering an animal for this show, please visit the World Dairy Expo show office. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the animals we have parading in the ring for this year's show. Entry 1051 is Oak Haven Hallmark JC, and she's exhibited by Justin R. Lemmerman and Oak Haven Jerseys of Galloway, Ohio. Entry 1052 is K&R Ringmaster Fern. She's shown by Randy Drinkwall family of Rushford, Minnesota. Entry 1053 is Garhaven I Dream of the Splash, exhibited by Billings Farm and Museum of Woodstock, Vermont. Entry 1055, Townsend Jade Laurel is exhibited by Bradley B. and Dwayne H. Mittling of Wilson, Wisconsin. Entry 1056 is Triple H. Jade O. Me, exhibited by Scott Hammond of Barron, Wisconsin. Entry 1057 is O. F. Furrer Mercy. She's shown by Owens Farms Incorporated of Frederick, Wisconsin. Woodmore Marlowe's Ultra Divine is entry number 1058. She's exhibited by Woodmore Jerseys of Bloomer, Wisconsin. Entry 1059 is Woodmore Marlowe's Divine, exhibited by Woodmore Jerseys, again, of Bloomer, Wisconsin. Entry 1060 is also exhibited by Woodmore Jerseys, and she's Woodmore Grand Marianne. 1061, Party at Bud John Liza Minnelli, is exhibited by Brett Peth and Hunter Stenholt of Ripon, Wisconsin. 1062 is Demers Jade Gemini, shown by Lisa Demmer of Ellendale, Minnesota. South Mountain R Master Jamaica is entry 1063, and she's exhibited by Arethusa Farm of Litchfield, Connecticut. 1064 is Family Hill Socrates Flower, shown by Ethan Graybill of Freeport, Illinois. Graybill Minister Crystal is entry 1065, and she's shown by Donald Graybill of Freeport, Illinois. Arethusa First Prize Vienna ET is exhibited by Carrie Bailing, and she's entry 1066. 1067, Metal Ridge Mason Angelia is exhibited by Roger Reby of Cumberland, Wisconsin. 1068, Rock Ella Primetime Crystalline is exhibited by Lauren Ella of Sterling, Ontario. 1069, Avonlea J.K. Cool Cat is exhibited by Iris Quinlan and Skylar Strandberg of Almasetter, Wisconsin. Woodmore Poor Delight is exhibited by Woodmore Jerseys, and she's entry 1070. 1072, Big Guns B Barabo Jerica is exhibited by Austin T. Nauman of Norwalk, Wisconsin. 1073, Townside BRC Nadine is shown by Townside Jerseys of Wilson, Wisconsin. Entry 1075 is shown by Arethusa Farm, and she's South Mountain Ringmaster Justify. Entry 1076 is K&M Comerica Ginny, and she's shown by Bud John Farms and Peter Vale of Lamira, Wisconsin. Entry 1077 is Gordon's Jade Miss E.T., shown by Phil Gordon of Syracuse, Indiana. PJFR Master Michaela is entry 1079, and she's shown by Elena Peterson of Viroqua, Wisconsin. And finally, entry 1081, BJ Indiana Mystic, is shown by Seth Nels of Houstisford, Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, the animals in the ring are vying for the champion of the 2012 Jersey Futurity. Placings are complete in our 2012 Jersey Futurity. Third place entry goes to entry 1076, K&M Comerica Ginny, exhibited by Bud John Farms and Peter Vale of Lamira, Wisconsin. Second place is also the best bred and owned. 
Entry 1058, Woodmore Marlowe's Ultra Divine, exhibited by Woodmore Jerseys of Bloomer, Wisconsin. And the winning entry is also Best Utter. Entry 1066, Arethusa First Prize Vienna, exhibited by Carrie Bailing of Fox Lake, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Mark, your comments. Well, ladies and gentlemen, quite a, for this fraternity, I remember when uh, they first started some of these fraternities, the quality wasn't quite uh, as, as deep, but boy, when you look at this class, what a, what a great class of cows, beautiful udders. Uh, for, for us, this first one, I think just a hands down winner. She's a cow with a beautiful frame. She's very silky and dairy, and I made her best udder. Uh, just a fantastic udder. The cow's got a lot of size and length to her, and, and her frame kind of overwhelms the cow in second in that length of frame, that openness of rib, and the silkiness of her hide. In addition to her mammary system, to me, it's just a little longer and longer through that fore udder. She, when you stand behind, it has a lot more width to the rear udder and climb to the rear udder. Uh, than the cow in second. Second over third, a closer placing. But I think when you view the cow from second, uh, she's just a little tighter through that four udder. Her udder's just a little higher above the hocks and just giving her a little more style when you see her in line or see him out on a walk than a long body cow in, in third. A cow in third has a tremendously long frame. She's big and powerful. And she uses that frame to go over the cow in fourth. As you see her when she walks, she's harder through that loin region. She has more spring of rib and more development of frame and more width to that chest floor uh, than a very uh, dairy cow coming in, in uh, fourth. Fourth over fifth, just on that uh, style and balance, and also a cow that just walks a little nicer on her feet and legs. She's stronger down through that pasture and region than another very silky dairy cow coming behind her. Congratulations. 